So I'm sorry I've been a little bit busy, so I've not been that consistent in uploading. But uh, today I have something for you guys. So this is a paywall. So if you're not familiar with a paywall, it's basically uh, when you go to any site, it could be a video site, it could be a site to sell maybe PDFs, books, whatever. And they don't want you to maybe access some content. You get hit by something like this, which is a paywall, which means that you have to pay to actually view that particular video, the service, uh, the download, the book, whatever it is, it's just under this paywall. Let's demo this. Let's demo this paywall. So maybe my username is at dev or something. Then if I click on pay now, I will be using the Intercent API, which means you'll be able to uh, put a paywall for both your card payments and M-Pesa payment. So let's go with M-Pesa. So for the first one, I'm going to cancel this. Then I'm going to show you how real time this is, uh, redirecting to other pages and stuff like that. So if I go ahead and click on pay, so I'm going to get an SDK push, yeah, and I'm going to cancel it. And you will see that it will actually update in real time. So request canceled and you are redirected to this page where it says you cancel the payment politely uh, go f yourself go back and pay so let's just go back and pay so this time same same drill but this time i'm actually going to complete this payment so pay with them pesa enter the phone number okay Pay. SDK push. So that one is successfully paid. And uh, the system will automatically get this and you'll get redirected to this uh, page where you can now download whatever you wanted, view whatever content was actually hidden, stuff like that. So of course, let me know in the comments if this is a video you would like to see and I'll work on uh, the tutorial part of this. And yeah, leave a like, hopefully you enjoyed. If you aren't a subscriber, hit the subscribe button. And of course, we are going to be doing all of this with, uh, it is all working from the client side. So basically JavaScript can do all this and also I will go into how you can implement this with maybe PHP as well. So yeah, it was a short one, it was a quick one, but hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you all uh, in the next video, yeah, peace out.